This is my 1909 NSU motorcycle. What makes it 1909 are firstly the front forks and this pattern of front forks was first came out in 1909. Also the carburetor which is very similar to a Veteran Triumph carburetor came out in 1909 as well. NSUs were like Triumphs, they made everything themselves. So there's very little on an NSU motorcycle that will fit anything else and very little on anything else will fit an NSU motorcycle. Along with bicycle practices, NSU Put a head stem badge on. Also, this is unusual because it's got a low tension magneto. The magneto fires a low tension spark, which it sends up to a coil which is in the oil tank in behind this little box fits the coil low tension coil and that sends the spark to the magneto as you can see it's got a contracting rear brake And even the Bowden style NSU levers do actually have NSU stamped into them. Lots of NSU parts have the little reindeer antler with the NSU amongst the antlers stamped into the parts and you get a fair idea of what the antler transfer looks like from this My bike's unusual because most of the other NSUs don't have engine plates on the front which like mine has which were missing which I've had to make up. Normally the motor sits in these little cradles which are cast into the frame like the rear mount and there's an earlier 1909 NSU in Adelaide that's got both these mounts on the front and the back but mine's different. And I've actually copied the mount for the footrests from the other 1909 bike in Adelaide. It's virtually atmospheric inlet valve, but it does have a pull rod which works on a cam which helps the valve open. So it is mechanically operated, the valve. Also, there's a little fitting on the exhaust port and on the carburetor and a little pipe connects these to heat 
the carburetor in the winter to make the fuel more volatile and have for easier running so your carburetor doesn't ice up in the cold weather which is not really a problem in Australia 